Expo. It's become a, a landmark event. The South Africans have taken ownership of it and declared it their own national asset, uh, which is fantastic. There were a couple of elements on the Expo that were slightly different this year. We did away with the sectors. There was a mishmash of, of exhibitors. So you would have a ceramicist next to an industrial designer. We had 350 individual designers who were represented at the show. Any interested exhibitors will send us a submission to give us an idea about their business, what they do, and then we have a look at that and see whether or not it would be suitable to be on the expo. It's important that we look for something that's completely different as well and has some unique South African originality. The designer dive is a platform to bring all of that together. There's a critical mass growing in terms of what we have to offer as South Africans. This event will allow certain businesses to catapult themselves, not just being a platform for, for their ideas. It's a three days exposure from, from all age and all, and all backgrounds, so we can communicate in a very concentrated point. Every year we always measure by our growth in, in how much maybe clients and uh, achievement that they have got from, from, from each show. The response is exceptional. I mean, it's a place where we test market our products. We work so hard to make something and then to actually see people looking at it and touching it is really important. It's so incredibly alive with design and inspiration and ideas. The success of the Design and Derby Expo is the vibe that happens over the three days. Every year we try to bring a diverse mix to the expo that will uh, please different tastes. So we have a few established designers, we always introduce a few new designers. The designers are all represented on the floor, so people having watched a fashion show can then interact with the designers. Equity that exists within the Design Indaba brand is, is, is incredibly strong. in Daba when we were kids, didn't we? So we would have thought of the world very differently back then. So they get to see this at the age of 16. Imagine what they'll do when they're 26. Um, I think it's very inspirational. And to see all the different kinds of design, it really does inspire us to, to also do our own thing. You know? Our whole focus has been from a school level, from grade 10 to 12, to start introducing the subject of design so that they can actually start understanding and widening their thinking process about what design really means. It's creating designers that are going to make a difference in the future, basically. It's encouraging you to use materials that are not going to harm our environment. A lot of things here we never actually thought it could be possible for us to actually make. The interest from the design students, wanting to know what is our philosophy behind everything, so yeah. Right. Oh, you're existing as an artist, as, as a creative person, and you feel rewarded by so much good feedback that you get from the people here. This is the first day of the expo, and it's been going great. There's been a lot of interest in the products. It's just nice to be around other designers and other people in my field as well, to see their work and be inspired by it. Uh, it's cool because we get the exposure to display our work. Almost all my business cards are taken there. Yeah. <laughs> There's so much talent like in our country as young designers. It's, it's, it's brilliant. So Design and Diver has, has really shown us that and, and like put us at the front of it where, where we need to be. Bringing in young creatives, giving them a free exhibition stand, just makes sense. It included some of the best stuff on the expo floor. There's lots of reasons to be absolutely cheerful and very, very positive about where South African design is going. There's been quite a lot of interest in terms of buyers as well as learners wanting to understand who has made what. We also get to tell them about our institution, the fact that we also have a fab lab that can get to assist designers in conceptualizing and pro making prototypes of their designs. Once we explain to them that we're, we're a product design studio and we're a consultancy that can have their ideas turned into reality, we've got a lot of people that say, oh, well, I've got an idea and I didn't know someone like you existed, so that's great. Designers are, are being a little bit more 
aware of, of what they're putting out there. The stands were truly, truly beautiful. We were looking out at our target audience and that was young people coming, entering in. And it's about like what it is to be studying at a design school, especially for a, an academic department to, to walk away with this. It's fantastic. The whole purpose of the stand is that we're not promoting Carol Boy's products. What we're looking for is, is opening up and, and finding and sourcing the new talent that's here in South Africa. In terms of the professional designers, all of them have raised their games. People that are, are really turned on by the idea now of, of the arts, not just as uh, expression, but also as the possibilities for developing the economy. a great opportunity for the brand in terms of um, interacting with our target market and it's definitely an opportunity that we'd like to take up again next year. It's fantastic that we have sponsors who are just not about writing a check and making sure that its logos are in all your promotional material but who really you know roll up their sleeves and get involved in the promotion of design and creativity in South Africa. All of us who are in the design world are passionate about South African design and every year we come here and just go wow this is absolutely fantastic. I was expecting, you know, with the economical downturn, it was going to be quiet. It has been absolutely fantastic. With the, the expo having the stature that it does now of being the one place where you can go and, and the who's who of design is represented under one roof, it's just become the default shopping destination for um, local and international buyers. Once again, we had tremendous support from the, the DTI. We had 31 exhibitors who were fully funded by the Department of Trade and Industry. I was here last year, and I, after that, I did get a lot of orders through to this design. From the DTI perspective, of course, the creative industries and design is seen as a priority sector, and that's why the DTI, each year, since 2004, gets involved in design endeavor. We came here to talk about very specific business. And I think that uh, the quality of the product and the design getting better and better. People are coming back and are very excited about being here for three days and, and uh, very committed actually to purchase and, and buy. There's certainly plenty of stuff that can go straight to the market and stuff where there's lots of really good raw material that could be shaped and tweaked to be sort of more suitable in that way. And the designs are changing slightly, it's like there's more of a European bias, um, perhaps moving away from the very vibrant African designs, just slightly more pared down, and, and that's good for me because that's the kind of thing where I can see a market for it. I want to explain to people what is going on in Africa, what products are on the market, that it's an emerging market that many good new designers are coming up. It's, it's just great to see the talent that's out here. I mean, it's really, it's comparable to what's international and I'm really enjoying it. It's all about um, customizing to client need, you know. I think people have been interested in what we're doing and a good showcase. There are thousands of people here, so, yeah, no, it's, it's great. Yeah. It has been just fantastic seeing people come. They see your work and just seeing their facial expression, their face lights up. That is just the most incredible thing as a creator, where you see the person's actually got what, you, what you're trying to do. People really put effort in uh, this year, I think, in making this a very special event. The beautiful um, ceramics, rugs, wall hangings, jewelry. Yeah, there's far too many things I like here. We shot our bags uh, last year the first time on the design in Daba and this was actually our first step into the South African market or, or the international market. And our bags are really in whole Europe already and, uh, and we made a lot of contacts here today as well. Craft is such an integral part of the design landscape in South Africa. What has happened though over the past couple of years is, is the craft is becoming more sophisticated. The local audience is fantastic. So I don't have a retail outlet so it's always nice to interface with uh, my customers. It's not to sell stuff, it's to, to show a new way, it's to show a new philosophy, to go back to making things that are really made with care. We had actually quite a lot of people quite keen on the fact that like, like art is something that becomes very accessible to them. So it's been a very good expert. Design Dava has done amazing things for me. This is my fourth Design Dava. From a little stand 
each year things just grew. I have international exposure, so no, it's been tremendous. The most beautiful object award is a competition we run yearly, where as a design and dive expo exhibitor you can enter your most beautiful piece. The winner gets a six square meter stand at Design and Diver 2010. You know, what we do isn't just a pretty picture, it's, it's almost, you don't really realize it until you come into contact with it. I've brought the Chaos Bench to the exhibition. I'm over the moon, I'm ecstatic about, about the fact that it's been uh, shortlisted for the most beautiful object in South Africa award. The Constitutional Court of South Africa is one of the most beautiful places in South Africa. It's also, I think, had a big effect on the judges. Everything is so different to their normal environment. It's a reversible design and it's a rapid prototype. So I design on computer and then it's uh, centered using a machine. I'm going to get hopefully a lot of exposure and a lot more sponsors and perhaps collaborations with other artists or companies. With there being you know, such a, a, a spotlight on the design and dive over that period from the media and the sort of design and creative industries as a whole. There's so many satellite events that take place just off the, the, the platforms which are provided by the Expo and the conference. Uh, this year we had the L Decoration International Design Award which happened on one of the evenings as well as the, the House and Leisure um, Green, Young Green Designers Award which is sponsored by Woolworths. What I found this year with new submissions is that there was an amazing escalation in the quality of design. Some very, very exciting new designs coming through. It's very lovely to see such a high standard of local design showing at this platform. This is all about sort of sustainability and also the change from where we were in the old days with the Mercury bulb to the new time which is about eco-friendly. Puppy's become an iconic design piece now for the furniture industry. And then I thought of taking it further. And Ravi and I um, uh, had some ideas and we had a bit of a brainstorming session and thought of having our own little uh, campaign and also of involving the whole design industry with, with this, this puppy campaign. And then it evolved, you know, and we handed out 50 puppies to the industry. It was also our way of supporting local design. Because the whole design community had been involved in the puppy campaign, it was quite difficult to, to have a local judging panel. So the 5.5 guys just uh, interpreted the brief and the winner exemplified that. South this year added a wonderful new dimension. It provided a narrative. It provided some uh, intellectual framework for what's really going on in South Africa. South Africans have a resilience and a, and a creativity that can really lead the world. And that is what South is about. It's changing lives, it's about making a difference, and it's about the greater good. And that is the spirit and soul of the design that is coming through. And sometimes it's just about being in so many different, so, such different worlds. You have to sort of find a way of sort of dancing towards each other. And, and that's the energy that, that is so chaotic and so interesting, you know, down here in the South. To us, public broadcasting is about citizen empowerment, but so is design. It's about ordinary people with extraordinary ideas. The winner is Dung Anwar Jahangir from Spaza to move on. There is a lot of amazing energy that is actually flowing on the street. We as designers, architects, urban planners, I think we need to go further we need to listen with our hearts because that is exactly what happened with me. It's not something that I invented. It was there on the street. Last hour of each day, we've done Pecha Kucha presentations, which are really short, fun presentations. Uh, they 20 slides by 20 seconds, giving each presenter six minutes 40 in total to get their message across. We've had the likes of Helbane Martin, Amanda Laird Cherry, Tsai from Tsai Design, Jonathan Shapiro. To me, it's all part of free speech. But I believe that as a cartoonist, that's what we have to do. We did it in the old days and have to do it now. There's just been a, a, a wonderful lineup of speakers there. Material is not going to be only metal, wood, plastic. How about tissue, animals, people? I mean, this seemed quite outrageous, but then people eat lamb every day. The South African design is increasingly holding its own compared to the international designers. Inspired by the way they conceptualize design. So clouds, leaves, fruit, and crumpled paper. I created a dress. The concept simple, but the design intricate. 
Being part of the conference this year has given me a different insight into design in Dava because it showed the overlap of every creative aspect of design and showing us that it all works as one. So in the expo, we're getting to the point where we're all going to be merging and doing things together. We have these design superstars who come out for the conference. They interact with our local designers. We had presentations by the likes of Lee Edelquit. The real revival of arts and crafts as a not only as a theme, but as a mentality. A mentality in which we want to produce things next door, with local materials, with local hands. It's a vital new movement, which resembles very much 100 years ago, the arts and crafts, because that was also about a more humanitarian and mental approach. The amount of inspiration our South African design gets out of that sort of interaction is just absolutely priceless. So all of these elements that, that happen off the floor, which are, are entertainment value, while at the same time putting a very strong message across of promotion of the creative industries. The purpose of the Design and Derby Expo is to promote creativity in South Africa. Um, creativity will fuel an economic revolution. Very, very happy that it's grown. Very, very happy that it's been altered in such a big way. We're quite moved by it, but we've still got a lot more work to do. To take the energy and the impetus that we derive from this week into the very wholesome projects that we do in the 51 weeks in between.